yeah i wasn't being um, judgmental at all either the idea was yeah. that uh, impressionable people in a bad state of yes. mind might might just take this up in the wrong okay. manner and no, while no, you have survived yeah absolutely i think that that is the most important uh, thing to remember especially in today's context yeah uh, i i i was very lucky to have a bunch of wonderful friends around me even when i was doing my own startup etc where i could easily unplug in the evening when i when i used to meet those friends etc i used to live by myself i used to live with a set of friends uh, who we used to hang out so i think everyone has to have that kind of a, sort of a routine but when you you talk about the human touch uh yes it happened so many times uh even uh, and very early on it taught me a lot of it, it taught me a lot about conflict resolution it taught, taught me a lot about reading the room as to what people say and what they mean and i i was like a nice person i mean if someone saying something but in a different tone i mean i could get the vibe that okay the tone is different but i stick to the content okay this is the content so i'll stick to it right so i think i i learned to uh, know about people because i was very like okay this meeting like i'll do this and and move to another one yeah. it's only slowly when i learned that work is more it's more about relationships than it is about that work so i learned this the hard way that how important it is to sort of build cultivate very healthy relationships at work which which actually gives back many fold uh, to you in in your yeah. own personal growth so uh, the the team that i worked with in one of my first work set- setups uh, yes a lot of times there was there was this whole conflict right like conflict of personality conflict of leadership styles conflict of working and the way i i uh, sorted that out was like i used to have one session half an hour dedicated to that that give me feedback i love feedback i love critical feedback mm. i i was not this person i used to be very reactive to feedback if someone gave me feedback sometimes i took it very personally and i i used to be very defensive about feedback but after a year or two of being very reactive and very defensive to feedback i realized that okay that person was actually right i could have done this like like this way and it it would have been better and that's when i started slotting this time with those stakeholders that okay give me feedback even today every 6 months in my company there are like 10 people i work with in different capacities i i set up 30 minutes of informal coffee chat with those people and i ask them that give me feedback a lot of times people will say really nice things to you and then like you dig deeper and deeper and you probe with questions and that's when they will start giving you the real feedback and that has helped me immensely so the first few years when i was reactive to feedback and people were also like not sure of who i am because you have a certain image of you and then people have a certain image of you and when when you realize that you know what you think of you and what that other person is thinking of you and it's not uh in coherence you just, you, you just end up like you know being there there's an unpleasant uh experience you know just, just yes unpleasant vibe right but that's that's exactly when a few people who i met just by pure luck i i went through a few sessions with them it was actually called as infinite leadership session and i'm still in touch with the person who took this session because it opened me to so many possibilities he actually introduced me to vipassana uh you know early in uh, when i was 25 years old and uh, we we were going through these sessions and that's when uh, he he made me realize right that i'm i'm reacting too much to things so when you are driven and you are running you also realize that okay there there are there is going to be friction and how you handle that friction becomes a challenge in your own growth if you don't have a healthy system of handling it and i did not have any system of handling it and the only system of handling friction was to react to it so it kept on increasing and increasing and there was a gap and there was so much of a gap that i had to leave that organization because i was not comfortable anymore so and when i was leaving that organization and that's when this person who introduced this whole infinite leadership workshop to me came came into my life and i did a few sessions of learning 
and and understanding and it was a mix of meditation plus using a lot of questions and writing about uh, things that how you feel about things so it's a bunch of tools right and i i realized a few things about myself that yes it's it's important to uh, it's a, it's a, it's important to be authentic and genuine and express and be truthful and i cannot not be that i cannot accept things that i don't believe in and i say it out and when i say it out it's going to make people uncomfortable hence it's important to have a system where you're having a conversation and a dialogue and you agree to disagree or you agree to sort of take different approaches and and have a conflict resolution and, and learned about it and then uh, you know again in 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 these leadership sessions i also learned about like meditation in in general and how it was a guiding tool for me to apply in my practical life to these relationships so even now i when i look back i realize that yes i have not done justice to some of the relationships by by being reactive uh, and and the human touch you talked about that sometimes you you lose out on that but i think when i embraced meditation and when i embraced uh, a little bit more compassionate uh, approach to leadership uh, all of this started to become effortless like you you realize that okay you are you are more focused at work so you're getting your work done faster you're more aware of people around you and how what what's the vibe and and hence you are able to also respond to things and not just react so i'm i'm just i think i'm lucky to to have read the the kind of content i was reading around the time when i was moving from one organization to other and i was again not sure what to do uh, and i'm i'm also i'm grateful to a few people who who guided me uh, in in having an uh, having an approach in life where you are you're focusing on relationships you're focusing on and something that i i learned in that one workshop was don't create point of connections when you're working you know you can create point of creations because sometimes when you're connecting it's it, it could also be emotional it could it could there could be frictions but this point of creations is when you come together you create something and it's it's a little bit more deeper concept but but i learned that okay i was i was not really focusing on creation at work right and 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 that's where when i started focusing on building things and creating things that's when i realized it was easy for me to sort of bring back those those relationships and 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 mend them in a very healthy system systematic way hmm i i like what you uh, ended that point with because there was something running in my head on the same lines so are we saying when we give it a strong definition and uh, hold ourselves as attached to that idea of what the definition is whatever work we are doing whatever connection if to use a term that you used whereas creation is chaotic it allows the flux to stay in place and uh, change to do what it will uh, something that uh, as a as a writer i felt very often uh, being an advertising writer uh, i have worked on almost hundreds of different industries that people will not even have a clue that they exist you know till date i keep being surprised at, at what all work i have done and what all work i i get sometimes uh, people are doing all kinds of work and i am supposed to be a guy who knows when you come to talk to me and if you are talking about policy and you say listen i want to do this document or this kind of presentation i need help i cannot act as if i don't know anything about it uh, whereas what i fall back upon is uh, i don't lie obviously that doesn't help the cause one has learned this uh, very early in the business but what i realized was you also have to have confidence with what you know so within the chaos yeah. there is a certain yeah. sense of clarity there is a certain sense of stability you just fall back upon that it might be out of 100% it might be 5% it does not matter it might be 2% yeah. it does not matter but that you have to hold on to that 2% because that is your uh, uh the linch wheel uh, around with the chariot wheel the, the center point of where all the spokes connect and it allows the wheel to move in a certain direction 
because you have you've stuck to one principle so when i'm talking to supriya there is a certain supriya that i can be sure exists beyond that i will try and not judge you or myself with what is going to happen like we are both going to be truthful is one uh, in a sense even when we are doing this podcast so that is the condition i was talking about the idea of authenticity it's not that i yeah. want the best face i want in fact i want a worst face most of the time because that is what helps other people know that look life is not hunky dory for anyone yes so even in that situation what you spoke of where you talked about uh, creative creations uh, rather than connections i thought that ability to handle the chaos becomes much better when you when you allow things to be chaotic they are going to be human beings are human beings when you and i come together uh, the reason why i asked you the earlier question was not out of some ideal curiosity but surely because now you are in a uh, in a workspace where you have to deal with what is seen as a as an absolutely unprofessional way to work uh, uh, there is absolutely no organized sector that does work in those kind of things where political policies are uh, understood or implemented or uh, and even earlier what you worked on was similar in my head yeah my, it uh, was my understanding is that uh, the ability why am i specifying this again and again because i want people to understand that you are not a success just by chance there are certain things you dropped out there are certain things you adopted and adapted to and certain things you just left because i we are not even talking about that because life is not one planned textbook where you can say i can pick these things up now the index is fixed and i can do whatever i want it doesn't work like that uh, like your dad's yeah. cardiac arrest i think uh, life gives us one every every time we think we know what it is <laughs> so in that space i would uh, i appreciate where you come from there's one last question i would want to ask you you come across somebody who is fairly serious who is fairly understood herself thanks to the experiences you've had when did you last laugh at yourself for being stupid <laughs> i think uh, i think you should ask uh, my my husband my sister who are right now uh, here in the same house with me i think it's all the time it's uh, it's i i i have my own space where i can be very silly uh, with them with my parents at home so i think uh, oh. it's 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 a safe space to be silly but but yeah i think uh, i think almost every day oh wonderful um, so <laughs> one more last question since you answered it fairly simply what makes you do <laughs> what makes you do that what is the fun in being silly or admitting that you are silly and confused or what makes it possible what makes it you were laughing but we were actually happy about the question and the answer so what makes it <laughs> so joyful uh i think uh, like a bunch of things right and before i answer this question i i, I want to just comment on something you said before asking uh, this question you were talking about chaos chaos and you know and you used this word a lot which is allow like you to allow these things to be in you know you have to allow that flux and 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 that to me is a very important word uh, to be in allowance because when i was actually like like when we were talking about like when i was actually fighting things and i was then things happen and sometimes you're not able to accept some things about uh-huh. people or and then that and then you're like okay i can't accept it but I, i can just allow it to be like that and that's 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 all like let's just allow this to be that way so i think i just wanted to comment on on the beauty of this word allowance because it has helped me a lot when i don't want to react to something or don't want to accept something you know sometimes you're like okay let's let's be in allowance with it it, it exists so you 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 have to coexist yes. with it beautiful um and uh, about um, what how, how how do you laugh at yourself right like i think uh, it's true we take ourselves too seriously sometimes uh, especially in in the jobs that we do in the careers that we have or in, in the so called uh, roles that we have to play right it's all a game uh, i feel <laughs> right it's 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 yeah, all it's a game it's all 
uh, if you go back to vedanta they call it maya if you if you read a lot of other western philosophy they'll call it some illusion right in, in meditation even in buddhism we 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 think of it so in some form we are all playing different games uh, it could be the game of a corporate job that you play or it could be a game of uh, you know a just just a role play you do in your own family it's if you take a step back and you realize it's it's all it's some form of illusion and some form of game so the only way to be uh, dealing with it without resisting too much and without reacting too much or without fighting too much is to enjoy it and and let it flow and be in allowance with with it right and might as well enjoy it uh, because there is no other way like i said in the in initial part of the podcast or koi yeah. choice hi nahi hai like ah. what do you do oh well said oh well said uh, very often uh, just to uh, relate to what you said uh, i have told a lot of people that i begin with uh, a negative so for example i am coming to see you for a coffee and you are in bombay some place and the first thing i think is i am not going to reach i am not going to reach in time you are not going to reach in time something is going to happen all of i don't even say this it's like forget allowance i think that's how it's going to happen so it's like absolutely pessimistic about the whole thing so when i sit there i don't fret if you are 10 minutes late or else i don't fret if i am 10 minutes late and i am unable to message because i am in traffic and i cannot tell you i'm okay i'm saying either she'll although there is empathy that i'm making you wait at the first signal i get i get a chance i will definitely message you but that's basic courtesy i would think but it doesn't if i cannot i don't get irritated because like you said it's beyond my uh, capabilities to do this so yeah wonderful what a chat this has been uh, supriya you are an absolute uh, joyful revelation thank you so much we covered a lot of ground and good to reconnect and i wish you all the best may you grow and prosper <laughs> Thank you so much. It was wonderful speaking to you too, and we will definitely have uh, another conversation like this. It was super interesting and exciting to speak to you. Thank you so much, and have a lovely rest of the day. Yes, thank you. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Uh...